Gold has been a critical material in the electronics industry for decades because of its unique properties. It does not tarnish, it resists corrosion, and it conducts electricity extremely well. That makes it perfect for reliable connections inside microchips, CPUs, and other integrated circuits. In many old ceramic chips, such as vintage CPUs from the 1970s through the 1990s, gold was used in several ways. You could often find gold-plated lids, thick gold bond wires connecting the silicon die to the pins, and even gold-coated contact pads. These chips are considered high yield for recyclers. Gold wire in particular was popular for wire bonding because it is soft, easy to bond, and provides excellent long-term stability. However, as technology advanced and manufacturing costs increased, many companies switched away from gold wire to alternatives like copper or aluminum. These metals are cheaper and still perform well in modern designs, even though they don't offer the same resistance to corrosion as gold. That's why newer chips often contain little or no gold compared to the older ceramic packages. For those interested in gold recycling from old electronics, a few guidelines are important. First, always identify high-yield sources. Ceramic CPUs, memory chips, and connectors from older equipment usually contain the most gold. Second, use safe methods. Mechanical separation and chemical processes can release toxic fumes, so always work with proper protective gear, ventilation, and neutralization steps. Third, remember that efficiency matters. Not every part is worth recovering, so it's wise to focus on materials that give the best return for your effort. In summary, gold was once the standard for bonding and plating in ceramic chips, but modern designs often rely on cheaper alternatives. Recycling old chips can be rewarding, but safety, knowledge, and proper technique are key to turning e-waste into recovered gold responsibly.